Hi, my name is Angie. I write for jonesing2create.com and today I'm going to cover how I rotate my food storage. I cover a lot more of this on my blog, but sometimes that helps to see things visually. So if you're looking for details, go to, um, go to jonesing2create.com, but this will kind of let you see the gist of it. Um, instead of rotating cans, I rotate bins. So in each bin, there's a month worth of food. And so say like with my peaches, instead of having to rotate 60 cans of peaches on a shelf, I just have to rotate three bins. It makes it super, super easy. Uh, right now we're in my pantry, and so I keep the items that are going to expire first in my pantry. So that way those are the ones that I'm using. Um, so when I'm cooking and stuff like that, these are the bins that I pull out of. Um, and then once I finish off a bin, I just have to take it out and I replace it with a full bin. And then I leave that empty bin out so that I can remember to refill it. So like say with my soup, so I go and I get my last can out of soup so that I can use that. And so then I take my bin and I can just stick it right out here where I can remember. And so next time I'm out grocery shopping, I can know that, oh, I need to pick up eight cans of soup. It makes it super easy because I don't ever have to check a list or anything. It's all very visual. I can just look at the can and say, I need eight cans of soup. If you notice, I also write the expiration date on there. And that's really helpful because then I can, without having to pull cans out, I can just see when those cans will expire because I buy all the cans in a bin at the same time. And so they all have pretty much the same expiration date. And so now I'm gonna go over and I'll walk over to my food storage closet. And I will find, see here we go, I've got all my different bins. And I'll find my soup bin. So I'll grab my soup bin like this. And then I'll carry it over to my pantry. And then I will replace it. Okay, and I'll stick it right in there. And then I'll just replace it right there. Now let's say that I've already gone shopping, I've filled this bin up. So I take it back over here. And then what I'll want to do is I will pull that one from the back and put this new one back there so then that way um, I have the newest one out forward and then I can also replace the expiration date so that way I can see it's super easy. Um, and so if you notice it's just a really easy way to keep on top of things. Um, it's been nice because, let's go over back to my pantry, is since I've started doing this I haven't been able to mess up my food storage because I love to like shove things into little spaces and I have a habit of like buying cans and then just like sticking them off to the side for a little bit. And um, then I forget to rotate things and I end up throwing things, a, a lot of things away. And so I totally love the system. I've been doing it for a couple years and it's kind of cool because like this is what my pantry looks like. I, it always looks organized. I really can't mess it up. Um, some of the things that I found that are really helpful is finding the right bins. A lot of bins have a really fat lip around the edge and then they taper down to the bottom. It's nice because it makes them really strong, but they also take up a lot of space. So I was excited when I found these bins because if you notice, they don't have as much of a lip and they don't taper as much. And so that way I can fit more in them. Um, also like the cans, they're easy. They fit in more easily. Um, and I can stack them better. I also love these. I found these at Walmart. And so each of these fit about 12 regular size cans. And um, it's really, if you notice, they just stack right inside and it doesn't waste a lot of space at all. Um, and so I've loved those for more items like my vegetables, I buy a bigger bin. I had to go back and forth a little bit to find out the things that would fit in my pantry and in my food storage closet, but it was totally worth it. Um, some of my cans I don't have a ton of, and so it didn't make sense to buy a whole bin um, because like, I maybe just store for a month. And so what I did is I bought these also at Walmart. Um, they're made for your refrigerator to um, rotate soda cans, but they work really, really well with food storage cans because if you notice, I can just pull this one out and they all rotate through. Um, and they were really cheap. I think they were like under $5 each and the other cans, rotator can things that I was looking at cost a lot more money and they also kind of took up a lot more space. And so I wasn't like really happy about that. So, um, that's been really great. And to have that, um, I'm a really visual person. And so here's my food storage closet. And for me, I tried keeping everything in separate places and I got really confused. And so you can do that, but I, if you can't, 
If you're able to find one spot, it's really, really worth it. And you'll be surprised at what you can do with the room that you have. And so like one of the things that I did is this is a total Pinterest knockoff is I bought one of those shoe organizers and I stuck it on the door. And what I love is look at how much extra space that I still have to grow. And so when I first started this out, I had like no space at all. And now I'm storing more things and using less space to store it. And so in this, I keep things like my water, my water filters. I have some hand sanitizer. Um, here, this right here is like my list of um, my recipes and everything that I need. I've got candles. Um, so if the power goes out, if there's an emergency, I'm not digging through my garage trying to find out where I stored everything. It's just all right here. Um, I also, Walmart has this really cool like um, cupboard organizing set that you can buy. And so these right here are actually for storing glasses, like wine glasses in your um, cupboards. And I just put them on the walls because it bought me a lot of extra space. I was able to store my pasta and my salt. And also if you look up here, I've, you know, I've got my yeast and some smaller cans. And so those were really nice. I also love these. Um, don't laugh. Spam is cool. And so actually if you fry spam, it's not too bad. I won't eat spam unless it's cooked, but, um, you get sick of like tuna and chicken. And so I thought that it would be kind of a fun thing to rotate through. So anyway, these are the under basket organizers. And these are great because a lot of times you have empty space above your cans. And so like here, I don't really like stacking glass bottles because if they fall, it's a mess. But then I had all this extra space. And so I was able to put my bean soup mixes up there in the can, uh, in the basket. Also, um, these shelves buy a lot of extra space and that all comes into in that kit that I bought at Walmart. And it was, it was really, re it was, you know, really cheap compared to some of the other ones that I found. Also, you'll notice that, um, my husband totally laughed at me for doing this, but, um, I marked where everything goes. <laughs> like I said, I'm super visual. And so I love that I can look in my closet and say, okay, I need, um, see if you look, this is one month of macaroni and cheese and this is another month of macaroni and cheese. And so usually I keep two months of food in this closet and one month of food in my pantry. So I'm able to look at that and say, oh, I need to buy eight boxes of mac and cheese. And the same with everything, it's all marked. And so if you look at that, you know, it just makes it really easy. So all I have to do is look at my pantry and I can just see immediately what I need. Here are my other bins that I rotate out. And then down here, at the bottom is where I keep my flour, my rice, and my sugar. Um, these are food safe bins. And then I bought the gamma lids because they just unscrew. And so instead of having to pry off the lid every time I use it, let's see, I'm trying to do this one handed. Let's see if I can do it. Do you think I can do it? Uh, I can't just even do it one handed while holding a video camera. So anyway, you can just screw it off really easy and I'm able to get to my rice. Um, and then when I, what I do is once I finish one of those, then I just rotate it out with the other and then I buy what I need at the store and refill it. It's super easy to get to and it's been really nice. It's been a really easy way to do it. So anyway, I hope this helps you a little bit. Um, it's definitely helped me and it's nice because for the first time in my life, I feel like I actually have a handle on my food storage that I know what I have. I know what I can make with it and I love it. Like I said, there's more details on my blog about what to buy, recipes that you can use, and things like that. So just visit jonesing2great.com. Thanks.